Hello everyone, my name is Nate Lex and welcome back to x Dex. Today I'm going to be teaching you a special combo move that I made myself called Mortar Shell, and it looks a little something like this. This move has a combination of a couple moves in it. One is Cash Drop, which was inspired by ATM by Oliver Sogard. One is Dynamite that was created by Darren Yao of the Verts. And one was my own completely original move called Springboard. And I'll put all of the prerequisite tutorials in the description down below so you guys can go learn that. And then once you're able to do all three of those individually, we're going to put them together and learn this called Mortar Shell. Now I should say that Mortar Shell and Mortar are two different moves depending on how the last packet lands, but we'll explain that a little bit more in the tutorial. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright everyone, now let's get started with the tutorial for my move, Mortar Shell. If you didn't see the preview, it looks a little something like this. Perfect. Uh, it's really hard to do from where I'm sitting because there's a mic right in front of my face right here. Um, but yeah, today is not going to be so much of a tutorial because I'm actually going to include all your prerequisites in the description, which should be dynamite, springboard, packet drop, um, cash drop, and a revolution cut, um, and swing cuts. And that should be able to put this whole thing together. I'm just going to teach you the little subtleties of how to do it. Um, so we're not going to be teaching a whole bunch of handling moves today. So let's get started. Um, to do... Uh, oh my goodness. To do mortar shell, let me teach you the sequence of how it should look. So to do the, the um, pattern of mortar shell, it will look like this. You're going to go swing cut, swing cut, start the process of cash drop or packet drop while doing a revolution cut. You're going to drop half the packet into the revolution cut and close. And then you're going to perform springboard, but you're going to move this hand right or left, depending on which hand you do it with, underneath your dealer's grip holding hand and perform springboard to where it lands on top like this, and then perform dynamite. And that is how mortar shell should work. Now here's the thing. I'm not super consistent with landing the packet face up, and sometimes you'll land it face down and it will actually be complete, so you can't do dynamite. I just call that one mortar. Um, so if it happens to land uh, like that, face down on the deck, cool, you've just performed mortar, but if you happen to be able to get, and maybe you guys can get it more, oop, I'm just going to drop the cards, maybe you guys can get it more consistent than me, and land it uh, face up more than times, that can be called mortar shell with dynamite. Um, and that's really all the tutorial for today. All the other tutorials I will have you linked to are going to teach you how to mechanically do this move. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through it one more time, and that's pretty much the combo for Mortar Shell. And then it will just become practice, um, and I'll teach you some subtleties to make it look smooth. And then we'll be done. So, again, swing cut. Swing cut, you can really do as many swing cuts as you want um, in this pattern. But what you want to be left with is about a third or half the packet, so you can cash drop a ton. And then also be in a position to do um, enough with springboard or have a packet the size that is good for springboard to be able to do it. Um, one of the things that will make your cardistry look really good is being able to do these uh, moves seamlessly between each other. So you don't want to pause a long time between swing cuts, then stop, then have to figure out revolution cut, and then do cash drop. You actually want to be able to do them in tandem. Um, so practice if you can doing cash drop and a revolution cut at the same time and that will get a lot of your uh, flow down. And then after you're able to do this, you readjust for springboard underneath your hand and sometimes it will land face up, sometimes it will land face down. But guys, that is pretty much the tutorial for mortar shell. I'll do it one more time just in case, but um, there's no, like I said, no mechanic teaching today, just uh, the sequence. So swing cut, swing cut, start the revolution cut while you do cash drop. And with the packet you have left, close that revolution cut, springboard that over, and if you can springboard it over your hand so it flops this way onto the deck. Um, if you get it to land face up, cool, then you can perform dynamite like I taught on the channel and get it to right size itself. Or if you uh, don't and it lands face up, then it's just called mortar. And guys, that is pretty much the tutorial today. So thank you so much for learning my sequence combo mortar shell and please 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 show me a video of you guys doing this and tag me on instagram um, or send it to us over a dm and i'd love to see it
Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching the tutorial for Mortar Shell. I hope you guys enjoyed it. People have been asking for a lot of combos lately, so I thought you guys would enjoy this one. Uh, let me know if there's anything that I can help you learn. I'm also going to be putting out some trailers this upcoming week for all of the three things that are combined to use this move. Um, yeah, and if you need any tips, uh, ask the community, join our Discord, we can help you out. Leave a comment, do whatever. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into my favorite part of this show, housekeeping. So if you guys don't know, I work for this company called xdex.com. That is x-dex.com. Uh, and we resell and sell rare decks of playing cards. So we made two of our own. You can probably see them in the background here. Uh, the Lo-Fi and the Tsukuyomi decks, those are the ones we make. And we're actually in the process of making a third one. So keep your eyes out for that. Um, and we resell rare decks of playing cards. So the deck I used in this video was the Anyone Worldwide Blue Logo deck, the OG logos. Um, and you can find those as well as... 1500 other decks in our shop so you guys can find a whole bunch of different playing cards in our shop um, if you guys want you can follow us at x x decks rare cards on instagram excuse me um, and i love seeing different videos of you guys learning the moves that i teach and then posting it and tagging us so please tag us in some videos i want to go comment on them like them and interact with you guys and uh, if you guys haven't, there's a link in our description for the Discord, and you guys can join that and jam with other people. It's a way that we're trying to build our community and uh, allow you guys to interact with one another in one place. Um, and then if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I teach these tutorials every week, and we're actually working on making some more content. So I know people have been asking for tutorials on how to shoot your cardistry, tutorials on different other things, deck reviews, and uh, we're in the middle of working on some of that content. So thank you guys so much. Also, we're super close to 1,000 subscribers, so if you guys want, please subscribe. And I posted a new video on shorts that seemed like a lot of people liked, um, kind of about what cardistry is. So thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial today. Thank you guys for keeping up with all this. Thank you for supporting our business and our channel. Um, and I'm excited to teach you guys more stuff next week. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you can interact with me on some of the platforms and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.